Welcome back, Seth Bling here. Eight years ago, they added creative mode to Minecraft. But before there was creative mode, we used a mod called single player commands. And it gave a lot of the functionality that uh, basically creative mode ended up giving. And in this video, I'm gonna show you my data pack that sort of tries to reproduce a lot of those features from single player commands. And there actually were some nice things about the way that flight worked in that uh, mod. And so this is a data pack and it's fully configurable per player, works on a multiplayer server and everything. Um, let me show you how it works. So there's four main features. One is no clip. Uh, this is pretty straightforward. It lets you go through blocks. And the way this works is just by putting you in spectator mode as long as you're moving. Um, and if you stay underground uh, while you're in spectator mode, it won't boot you out of spectator mode so you can still see around. Otherwise, everything would just be dark. It would look like this. Wouldn't be very great. Um, if you do want to go underground and break blocks and stuff, you can use F3 plus N or whatever um, to, to um, put yourself in creative mode and start breaking blocks. And now, you know, I'm, I actually have a space to be in creative mode. And so I can hollow out a cavern, whatever I want to do. Anyway, so that's no clip. Uh, the second thing is adjustable flight speed. And so there used to be bindings you could do to change your flight speed. In this case, it's more implemented using spectator mode itself. In spectator mode, if you use mouse wheel up, it will increase your flight speed. And that gets reset every time you enter spectator mode. So you'll notice I'm not flying around at crazy speeds. But if I do want to go like across this map, I can just point the direction I want to go, use the mouse wheel, and get to a high speed and move around really quickly. So this is actually a lot faster than normal creative mode where, yeah, well, obviously you don't fly that fast in normal creative mode. Okay, so the third thing is, you may have noticed already, is flying vertically. So if I point at this uh, furnace here and then go s press straight forward, you'll notice I fly straight towards it. And I'm not holding shift or space or anything like that. Uh, it's just gonna go the direction that my cursor is pointed. And um, I actually liked this a lot. It made it a lot easier to get to the exact, like, thing that you're trying to get to. You're flying around over your map. You're like, oh, I want to work on that thing. You just go straight towards it. Um, I like that a lot more than the sort of like vertical, or sorry, horizontal flight that a creative mode normally has. And the last thing is that it removes momentum. So creative flight normally, if you move forward and then let go of everything, you'll keep hovering uh, forward for a little bit. But in this case, no matter which direction you're going, up, down, whatever, it removes your momentum pretty quickly. But you do get a little bit of momentum. It doesn't happen immediately that it removes your momentum. Um, but uh, this can make it easier to get into position. Like if you really wanna like get into a precise position, you, you, can, you can sort of adjust it a lot more uh, at a finer level. Okay, so how do you use this? First of all, it's a data pack, so install it in your data packs folder. Then once you have it running, use slash trigger flight settings. It'll probably be the only thing unless you have other data packs set up uh, under the slash trigger command, but tr slash trigger flight settings will bring up this menu. Now, when you start out, they'll all be disabled and creative flight will work like normal. And uh, each person has their own settings. So yeah, you can sort of see the what I'm talking about, the momentum, and you know your sort of horizontal flight rather than flying vertically uh, t directly at what you're pointed at, even if you're pointed down. Obviously, there's no no clip or anything, but you still might want to use this sometimes. For instance, to be able to walk on blocks, or if you do want to, you know, have uh, clipping with blocks, um, you'll definitely want to use that. Or some people just won't want to use it. You might want to be on a server where some people want to use some of these features, some people don't. Let's try each one independently. So it, let's enable no clip. Now, if I move around, we'll see that uh, it works as before. I'm still, unless I, you know, uh, hold shift or space, I'm still flying horizontally and everything. Um, let's disable that, enable vertical flying. So now, um, oops, I still am in, <laughs> anyway. Uh, so now I'm not in no clip or anything as I fly around. Um, but if I, if I wanna fly directly towards something, I can do that. I still have momentum. Um, and yeah, it's unfortunately a little bit jittery and that's just because of the way, basically it's because Minecraft only runs 20 commands per second or you can run commands 20 times per second, but the game renders at 60 FPS or even higher potentially. And so, yeah, it's gonna look a little bit jittery just because of that. There's no way around that really, but uh, still might be useful. Yep. Uh, now with this mode, you can also kind of clip into the ground uh, <laughs> just a little bit if you if you aim down and go pretty fast, but. 
All right, and then if you disable that, uh, we can enable no momentum. And so now we get that uh, momentum clipping feature where, and that again works both vertically, horizontally, everything. So they're all independently enableable or disableable and it's per player as well. Um, yeah, so if you wanna try it out for yourself, there is a link in the video description to download it. And well, I've shown you everything you need to use it. That's about it, thanks for watching.